Uh, so Douglas, um, obviously we're here at the EIS tonight. Yeah. Um, the exit poll suggests that the Greens um, are looking at, at one seat. What's your initial reaction to that? Well, I think it's just disappointing to see that you know we're standing still. But you know what looks like a, an enormous Tory majority. Um, going to the exit poll, we we don't know yet. The results haven't come in. If this is an unusual election, it may not follow like that. But. Um, that indication is that there's going to be you know, potentially years of a divided country, um, so that's, that's quite uh, disappointing. Um, we're really interested to see if we do make a breakthrough, if we've got just one more, that will be doubling our number of MPs. It's not too much to ask. Um, there have been some great candidates doing really camp good campaigns. Um, based on experience here, what we're seeing is a complete lack of a link between the amount of work the candidates do and how well they're known in the communities and the votes that are falling out on the day. So, um, yeah, that's, that's a bad sign in politics um, that, you know, that people's um, work is not reflected in votes and it shows a bit of a disconnect between you know, what voters actually want day to day and what they uh, want in the ballot box. And it's been labelled many a time as a, as a Brexit election. The Green Party itself has been labelling it as a climate election. Yeah. How, where do you stand on that? Well, it, it, obviously, with the votes that sort of appear to be coming out based on this exit poll, then it's clearly not a climate election. Um, otherwise, the Tories wouldn't be winning it because they've got some pretty awful climate policies. Um, so it's obviously a mix of things. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of discussion. So by other people, are going to be a bit more informed than me as to why that we're seeing what looks like a big Tory surge. When you know, so maybe it is a Brexit election, but this in itself doesn't make a lot of sense because you know the whole mantra of get Brexit done. I mean, surely people know that um, if we just leave the EU, it's going to be the start of a very long process that's going to continue the divisions in the country. That's a very worrying prospect for many people in the country, whatever side of the Leave Remain spectrum you're on.